Hello, I'm Sean from MICE. In this comparison video, I compare my existing Seagate Momentus XT 250GB hybrid hard disk in the upper left window against a standard Seagate Pipeline 7200RPM 3.5 inch desktop hard disk in the upper right window and also against the new Seagate laptop thin 500GB hybrid hard disk or SSHD as they are now called, shown in the bottom left window. In the bottom right window, I tried an experiment by reinitializing the Momentus XT hard disk. As you can see now in the bottom left window, the new laptop thin hard disk is already at the desktop. So now I launch Internet Explorer 10, Firefox, GIMP, Word, and finally Windows Media Player. The older Momentus XT now has finally launched Internet Explorer. So now I launch Firefox, GIMP, Word, and finally Windows Media Player. All hard disks were subject to running a reboot and application launch in a loop five times for the hybrid hard disks to learn what to cache in this NAND again, and also for Windows 7 on the regular desktop hard disk to do any of its own optimization. The regular desktop hard disk in the upper right window still hasn't reached the desktop. I'm sure some of you are wondering why it is taking so long to boot, since normally Windows 7 can boot to the hard disk much quicker to the desktop than this, so I'll try explaining what's going on here. This is my occasionally used computer, which has a Core 2 quad, clocked at 2.4 GHz, 6 GB of RAM, a GB motherboard, running Windows 7 64-bit, Office 2007, and various other applications. I installed Windows 7 in the fall of 2009 and no further reinstallation or image recovery has taken place since then. So at this time of filming, this installation is nearly four years old. The PC has mainly been used for personal video editing, such as converting VHS to DVD and recording content off television. For about a year, the PC has also been used extensively for various testing applications including to conduct some of my past reviews for MICE. I also used it occasionally while my main PC was performing something else, such as cloning a hard disk. Over the four years, this PC has numerous applications installed, updated, uninstalled, not to mention all the Windows and Virus Checker updates over the past four year period. As far as I'm aware of, I've never actually done any startup optimization other than moving the operating system partition to the Seagate Momentus XT 250GB hard disk about a year ago. I previously used this hybrid hard disk in my netbook. In fact, I didn't realize just how bogged down this installation got until I cloned it to a regular hard disk again, as the Momentus XT hybrid hard disk has improved to the point where I was happy enough with how long it was taken to boot and launch applications. When I recently saw just how much hybrid hard disks came down in price, I decided to purchase a Seagate laptop thin 500GB SSHT as I was curious to see what improvement it offers. With the original Seagate Momentus XT taking about a minute just to boot until I have the browser opening at its homepage, I actually began to wonder whether this hard disk was still providing any of the benefit considering the lightning fast startup speeds solid state disks offer. However, as I only occasionally use a spare PC now, I decided it was not worth putting in a solid state drive but instead to try out this new Seagate model. Even though the hard disk has finally launched Internet Explorer, it is still a struggle launching further applications as you can see here, taking two times or longer to launch each individual application. Had I been using a regular hard disk all along, I would certainly have given this a clean Windows installation a long time ago, if not a second or third installation by this stage. I'm sure I would still not be getting the startup speeds as quick as this aged operating system is getting on the new laptop thin SSHD. As I was getting ready to install it, I figured I'd film the screen to try creating this comparison video, which is what you're currently watching. Most other comparison videos love to show off the lightning fast boot speeds and application launches, but in reality, this performance quickly drops off after a few months. So in this video, we're actually taking a look at a well-aged operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the review section of my CE, where you can find some in-depth reviews of solid state hard disks including some real-life benchmarks involving everyday tasks such as installing software, copying files, and so on.